Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. In this video, I am going to explain the causes, symptoms and the treatment of dry mouth. Whenever there is dry mouth, in medical terminology, we call this condition as xerostomia. It usually occurs when there is low saliva in the mouth. Generally, the salivary glands produce saliva. It has so many functions for oral health and for the digestion of food, etc. So, whenever there is low saliva in the mouth, we call this condition as xerostomia. There are many causes of dry mouth. People who are in dehydration, that is people who drink less water, people with stress and if there is any problem associated with the salivary glands, any diseases with the salivary glands are in Jogren syndrome, there are chances of dry mouth. And using certain medications like antihistamines for allergy, decongestants for cold and cough, and high blood pressure medications, antidepressants, COPD, in these conditions also there are high chances of getting dry mouth. And any problem associated with the head and neck, like head and neck cancer, and treatment of head and neck cancers like radiation therapy, chemotherapy, in such conditions also there are chances of dry mouth. It is also frequently seen in people who are mouth breathers, people who breathe through the mouth. In such cases there are chances of dry mouth. Whenever there is dry mouth, there will be, uh, we will feel dry in the oral cavity, there will be oral burning, difficulty in eating, difficulty in swallowing and tongue becomes dry and there are chances that tongue sticks to the roof of the mouth and there is also associated with the bad breath, decreased or altered taste sensation, constant sore throat and there will be dry nose, chapped lips etc. In severe cases, there will be chances of high chances of teeth decay, dry eyes, dry skin, there will be chances of skin rashes and mouth sores, mouth ulcers etc. If at all there is high or dry mouth, we can consult the dentist or ENT doctor where the doctor examines the clinically and by taking the past medicine history or medical history, there are high chances they can diagnose the dry mouth. Treatment of dry mouth totally depends upon the underlying cause. If the dry mouth is because of medications, altering the medicines or adjusting the dosage is needful. Or if it, the dry mouth is severe, then doctor may advise sorbitol or xylitol lozenges or they may also advise certain tablets which produce or stimulate the saliva production like 7 million 30 milligrams 3 times a day or pilocarpine 5 to 10 milligrams 3 times a day or topical application of physostigmine 1.8 milligrams gel. These tablets or these medicines are helpful in conditions with dry mouth. We can prevent the dry mouth by taking certain precautionary measures by drinking lots of water and regular sipping of water and visiting the dentist for maintaining good oral hygiene and chewing sugarless gums which stimulates the salivary production and using mouthwashes, avoiding smoking, avoiding alcohol, carbonated drinks and avoid eating spicy, dry and sugary fruits. These precautionary measures may also prevent the dry mouth. This is all about the dry mouth. Hope you like the video. If you like the video, please share and subscribe our channel. Thank you.